Hello and welcome to Dapus ASMR. Today I have for you my monthly installment of The Positivity Kit. I do usually three pages a day, or three, I guess it's more three activities because some of them are like half a page, some of them are two or three pages. So, yep. So, every month we do a little bit more in our book and then eventually it will be full of positivity. So the first one is the positivity jacket. Cut and paste these patches onto your jacket or make some of your own. So I'm gonna cut and paste and do all that stuff. But first I want to color. So this is definitely a jean jacket. So I'm gonna color it blue. And we're just gonna get that started. One sleep has ended up way darker than the rest of the shirt, but that's okay. Basically the same color. Okay. Hoping it'd be a bit darker, but that's fine. There. Now that doesn't look so tragic. Okay. Then we're gonna cut out this page. On the back it's just general pattern. So I don't feel bad about it. I was thinking about only cutting out the ones I needed, but I have decided against it, so we're just going to cut along the dotted line. And obviously, our next page is that one.
I'm just going to color it a basic red. There's this ring over here, okay? But it's only like, oh, wait a minute. Sorry. There you go. Um, but it's only like four lines. So what four colors would go together? Like blue and orange? And then like a yellow and, no. I'm going to go purple. We're going to do one primary color in each rainbow but then the same complementary color that brings them together. So they are unique, but at the same time, oh, that is not a red, not a red. Nope, nope. Okay. that they are different but the same so they are truly best friends and they celebrate their differences so they can learn from them okay so then this palm tree I don't know which ones I'm going to use yet I'll probably just color them all and we'll work from there and then a yellow for the stars and a yellow for the sand And this that was fun is also just going to be very yellow. And then I guess this face can be like an emoji color too. Except for the nose, which I think I want to do in red for like a clown nose. I am not scared clowns, like I'm really not. Um, my aunt who is one of the most sane people in my family. Not insane, sane. The most sane person in my family. Because she's not blood related, I, I realize. But um, yeah, the most sane person in our family was a clown by like profession. Like she'd go to parties and buffets when they had family night and that. And she would uh, do like balloon animals and juggle. And it was awesome. Like this woman was so talented and I just never understood why people were scared of her. And she was also like the sweetest woman you'll ever meet just in general. And uh, yeah, and she had a really cute costume. I don't know what the point was. I don't know if I have any pictures anywhere around here, but yeah, she was my grandmother's, she still is my grandmother's neighbor. And her husband is so sweet too. Her husband is currently, um, Helping me with my grandmother's um, and my uncle's like trust because he's autistic, so he has to have like a special needs trust and the wheels are paying it. It's a lot, and he's an he's a retired accountant, and he's just being so helpful. Like I can't even describe how awesome this family is. So to me, the clown means sanity. Like for the rest of you, I think clowns mean insanity and crazy. But in my head, like how I grew up, you know, the sweet, sane one in the camp family, like the, you know, level-headed one who was awesome, um, she adopted her daughter and like, you know, she was like the sweet person who really was just generally the role model that you would want to follow. Um, yeah, she was a clown. And so in my head, Clowns meant, like, knowledge, and they just meant people trying to be kind and making other people laugh. Now, I understand that is not the connotation that most people get nowadays, but to me, it was people who want to bring joy. And also, she was so shy. Like, she generally, in my opinion, was a very shy person compared to the rest of my very loud and boisterous family. So I always felt like that is how she expressed herself, like how she expressed her joy and her energy. And yeah, like in my head, that's what 
a clown is. A clown is someone who is just trying to express some joy in their own special way, which is also, I think, why I've really bonded with the furry fandom and why I was more accepting. Like, I never, in general, I never like to follow opinions of other people without getting the whole story and you'll never really get the whole story so why do you judge before you even when you know you don't know all the facts like there's always two sides to every story i'm a firm believer in that and this was much darker than i thought it was so we're just doing the area around the sun in this color <sighs> and around the moon and then we'll do the rest in yellow i guess i don't know I misjudged. That was such a dark color for this cap. Like, look at this. That's the color. That's the cap. I guess on camera it looks like the same, but it is so much lighter on the cap than the marker. Yes. Yes can be in pink. I guess. Um, yeah, I got off tangent there. And I don't really remember the point I was going. Oh, why I'm putting a patch that reminds me of a clown on my jacket is because to me they are positive things. Mm. The bulldog will be, I don't think I'm putting all these on there, but I'm just coloring them all. I think I've already said that, but that's fine. Something to fill this up. And then like a different blue. So basically the teacup again. Then, then I'll put an orange. This orange is the contrast in color. Oh, and it's a Sharpie. Well, I should have used this for other things that when I didn't want to color cover boards, but whatever. This should have been with the moon. Okay. Now that I've got them colored, the patches I know I want is the clown, because I obviously made a huge speech about that, so he's coming with us. And then I also want the bulldog, because he's kind of cool. And then the friends for always, because, you know, you and I are friends for always, and we're different, but we also have some same likes, but we're also, we'll have differences, and we're going to celebrate those, so definitely don't want the hand. Hmm. So friends for always. Um, we're going to take the love is all you need one. I'm not taking the coffee one because I don't drink coffee or tea or any of that. That be in that kind of cup. So I definitely don't want that one. Um, the heart. The heart. And then maybe thankful for today and maybe that'll be it. Maybe not eat things over day. Let's see where we're at. Like, spread them out and see what we yeah. So heart, clown. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We can take we can take a couple more. I don't think I want the beach. I don't think I want that was fun trophy. Yes isn't really specific enough that I want it on my jacket. Um, maybe the flower. Because the circle is also kind of weird to me. But like, the flower, I mean, no, actually, I, I think we're good. I spread them out enough. Yeah. Okay. So we just have these extra little package. And I'm cutting off the little bits that are going to hang out. But I might take these extra patches and I might like give them to a pen pal or something just as in a small tuck in. And then the back of these, I actually just might say this is also because they're really fun patterns. And I could probably use these as decoration on a pen pal. So I'm just throwing those in the scrap box. Okay, I need glue. I'm just gonna glue them down right where I have them right now. Mm 
Yeah, I think this is nice because I got a heart for love. A clown because to me it means people trying to bring joy. The friends for always because I think that represents you and me where we're different but we also have similarities and we all just will celebrate that. Love is all you need because it is true and I think that it is just a really positive thing to put onto a jacket. Thankful for today, yes, always. And then, I know I haven't pushed any of them down yet, I'll do that in a second, I just didn't want the other ones to move. And then this bulldog, because I mentioned furries and I was like, that's kind of appropriate, but also because it's a cute puppy dog and that definitely should be on my jacket. Okay. There, and now we're gonna just push them down. Okay, there she is. That's my new jacket. Okay, the next one is the Bravery Award for your name here. Okay, Monica or Dapest. Because even though you were nervous to start a new job, because I did that this week or last week, last week. Um, you did it anyway. This week or last week? Uh, I don't know. It's all running together at this point. It's been a whirlwind. And then I'm going to do the hand in yellow because that is Lego colors. And the fingernail in blue. And then the whole plaque is going to be in uh, highlighter orange because I don't want to cover it up but I also don't want it to just be white forever so yeah let's drain some of the orange I made a mistake on the fingernail because yellow plus blue equals green and I colored it all yellow first and then did blue on top so I'm actually going to go ahead and add some purple to make a brown color. Yeah, it made more of a black. Hmm, interesting. Uh, just so it's like it's molding. Of course, brown isn't much better, I guess, now that I think about it, but it's too late because I already did it. We're just going to say she dipped her finger in chocolate. after this, which I don't think is a lot of coloring. I think it's a lot of writing. There. My Bravery Award. Perfect. Now, boink. Now this one is a long one. It says these are a few of my favorite things. And then what you do is you take a letter of the alphabet and something that you like. Let's search for that letter for to land the alphabet. So this one I'll actually do one, two, three pages of the book, which I thought would be kind of fun to have more of a intense writing. One. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite color in the marker, which is this light blue. At least I think it's this one, yeah it is. And I'm just gonna color all the letters first. I'm gonna whisper them. A, B, C. D.
ASMR. B is for bacon. C is for chocolate. D is for These are dragons. Yes, yes, I do know. Dragons. E is for elephant ears. The food. If you don't know what it is, it's like a dough, like a thin dough that they fry up and then they put like powdered sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, not much, but lots of brown sugar and um, on and then they put like some powdered sugar on it and then they'll put strawberries or other fruit on it sometimes but I love it with strawberries on it and then sometimes they'll put whipped cream on top of that and it's like this really delicious dessert so elephant ears F is for fairies G is for goblins obviously can't forget the little goblins H is for home I is for ice cream. J is for jelly. I prefer jelly way over peanut butter. I really, really do. Like strawberry jelly, especially if it's homemade. Can't beat it. Uh, okay, it's for... Oh, I can't even think of a word that begins with K. Kite, koala bear, kit, Q is easier than this letter. I guess I'm gonna put koala because it's like the only word I can think of that I would even put here. L is for L is for you liking this video down below. Liking the video. <laughs> M is for mother. N is for Noiseless. I love when it is quiet, so we're gonna put noiseless. O is for well, octopi. Octopi are really cool, but um, what else? Um, Well, this one's actually kind of difficult. Um, not that difficult. Like, I already thought about octopus. So we're just going to go with it. Octopus. P is for pen fouling. Q is for quilting. Or quilts. Especially some of them I can remove before she passed away. Quilts. R is for rainbows. Because rainbows are fun. S is for my sister. Is for tamales. Beef. Beef is the best. Also, chicken's really good too. Pork is okay. Yeah. I like tamales. Um. U. U is for umbrellas. Unicycles. Unicorns. There. Unicorns. V is for. It's for philosophy. 
Velociraptor. Velociraptor. This is the daycare worker in me coming out. Although I do prefer Pronto Raptors to Velociraptors, but whatever. Uh, w is for watermelon. X is for x-ray fish because they are amazing to watch and they're really enjoyable. Y is for you, of course, and Z is for zoos because I really, really do enjoy going to zoos. All right. Okay, so that is it for this month. I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you know how special you are and I hope that you know that I... Love you. Bye.